Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Persona 4 and today we're going to be doing some investigating and it's basically going to be one great big investigation today and in trying to figure out if anybody suspicious has been seen around Inaba. How do I know this? Well, it's because I played the game so many times. And I remember that I think you have to say two things to every single person that you meet. Well, you have to ask them two things, not say things to them, but... You get what I'm saying. Don't get hung up on the logistics of what I just actually said. Now, anyway. Well, I think we should probably start in the... I think school's closed, so there's no point even going to the school. So we're going to go to the shopping district. And there are a ton of people that we're going to be asking the same thing, starting with this young lady. Yeah, about those murders... Now, I can pretty much guarantee most of these people are going to go, What? That was, like, last spring. Why are you bringing that up? But, well, you got to do what you got to do. All right. Well, I... This guy doesn't really seem as cheery as, he's, as he has been, considering he used to... Or is that even the same guy? I don't think that's the same guy that usually stays in front of the bookstore, is it? But, yes, everybody else is actually under the premise of actually doing something, they're supposedly asking people the same thing. Even though they're really just standing there. Case in point, Kanji's not really even- a, Kanji and Yukiko's not- at least Yosuke looks like he's attempting to ask that young lady something or other. But let's interrupt. Yeah, about those murders last spring. You don't remember the- you know, the murders that happened? You know, Saki Kaneshi, Miss Yamano, you don't remember anything about that? And I thought I was a hermit. At this point in the game, it's really just... I mean, this is the last leg of the journey, really. Because after this... After this next dungeon, and if you didn't know there was a dungeon... Well, I'm sorry to break it to you. Yes, there is another dungeon. After this next dungeon... If you finish it early, like I normally do... It just skips forward to, well, I'm not going to say when, that might be a spoiler of some kind, but it just skips forward to the next, to the next section, shall we say. So, this is one of the few times in the game that I'm going to try and not get the dungeon done right as soon as it's out. Because, well, I've already pl let's played this game for 94 episodes, and I'm not going to just stop right now by God, I did it right this whole time. I'm not going to cheapo out now. Because we're going to get that true ending, sir or madam. Oh, yes. I don't think I've ever gotten the normal ending. Because I, I always just... Something bugged me my very first time. Something always kept bugging me. Because you have to... Keep... You're, you're basically... As the game says, we're truth seekers. And to get the true ending, you really have to investigate very thoroughly. Yeah, about those murders. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really know what else. I'm just trying to, you know, exonerate and exonerate. That's the wrong. Extrapolate why I do what I do here. Because I'm not going to read every single person's dialogue out. Because, well, I'm assuming you can read. If you can't read, well, I'm sorry then. But... Now, anyway, I think there are other places besides the shopping district that you have to go. The chief among them being the the really important one. Oh, I forgot about this, the suspicious person. No, I didn't. I said that earlier, didn't I? Yeah, and the chief among them being, I think, the important was Jeunesse, if I remember correctly, because somebody un, I, somebody's not telling everything they know here. Again, that could be considered a spoiler, but it's a very minor one. Like, seriously, it's really not all that important in the grand scheme of things, so... Eh. And I can hardly blame the person, considering I think they just forgot. But, I mean, honestly, who would remember something back in spring when it's the middle of December? Like, a whole year... Well, I'm assuming most people probably go, I would. Yeah, well... Most people, when they're not directly connected with it, will just go, Um, no. I mean, do you remember what happened last spring in your hometown? I'm sure somebody got murdered at some point. You don't remember it, do you? That's what I thought. 
Of course, somebody out there said, yes, I do. So I didn't really fit with my whole... With my whole thing there, so... Yes. Most people don't remember stuff like that. But you can't... That cannot stop you from trying to... From trying to help. Because we can't just sit here... And let whoever's going, whoever's doing this get away with it. We gotta do our best to try and curb this however we can. This whole thing is not really commentary about what's going on on the screen, because like I said, all we're doing is just going around talking to people. So, yeah. Did I, already, I already talked to this guy, didn't I? Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, we're basically going around asking everybody, if, if you saw anybody suspicious, because you have to ask every person. Every, both questions. Because I'd forgotten you have to talk to the woman in the north to even get that question to begin with. Otherwise, I would have started with her. But you can't expect me to remember everything. Hell, I just played Demon's Souls six months ago. I don't remember a darn thing about it. I remember some of the bosses, but that, that's about it. That's the next Let's Play, folks. A mage edition of Demon's Souls. But back on the Persona 4 here, because... If you're watching Persona 4, you're probably not interested in that. Yeah, this is where it's important, the important person. I believe this female student right here. I believe the important one is, is if you ask about if you've seen anybody suspicious. But we'll get to that soon enough. Do you recall anybody suspicious? Hmm. Now that you mention it, my friend was saying that she saw someone. Whoa. She's wandering around the shopping district. Well, I think we know where we're going. We're going to the shopping district. Our first real clue. And no, I'm not going to make the South Park Rage include you. Oh, wait, I just did. Anyway. Yes. I believe she's talking about the young lady right here to the right. The f No. She I think it's this one. I was going to say to the right or the left. Oh, that. Yeah, Yisake Konishi. I think I see where this is going to go. Yeah, I think we all know where this is going. I think that's referring to when he was trying to warn Saki about... Well, let's face it. If some random guy came up to you if you were a girl, some random middle-aged guy came up to you saying you're in great danger, be careful, what would you do? I have a feeling you'd do what most teenage girls would do and probably just say, get the hell out of my way. You're creepy. Oh, actually, you probably wouldn't say that. You'd probably just go, okay then, and walk off. If you didn't want to tick off the strange, creepy guy, which I wouldn't. Then again, I don't really put a whole lot of stock into thinking about what I would do as a teenage girl, so I can't really tell you with full confidence. Maybe you do. I do not. Or maybe you were a teenage girl. Well, in, ca in which case, what would you do? How did I get onto this topic? Oh yeah, Namatame. Sir, I'm not going to get your darn eternal lamp. Okay, stop bringing that up. I have no plans of ever doing that. I'm not a side quest person in Persona 4. We're the only game in the world that I'm not a side quest person. It's this. Persona 3, I will go and do all the side quests that I can. But this one, I just never have gotten into them. It's too much of a pain in the butt for me to remember who wants what and where it is. Oh, sure, I could write it down, but... I should write it down. Why did I never think of that before? Yep. Well, too late now. I'm not going to go next time I go into TV world and try and remember all this crap. No, sir. I only do the important side quests. Like getting A's on my tests. I think that's considered a side... Actually, I don't know if that's considered a side quest or not because you never get a quest marker, but yes. Anyway, have we talked to everybody after this? I think there might be somebody in the riverbed if we don't get this. If it, we don't get the, you're done message. And trust me, you'll know when you're done here. Oh, yes. Yeah, they make it quite obvious. Alright, well, have you seen anybody suspicious? Same thing as everybody else. We would know a suspicious person in a small town like this. Okay, so, whoever the killer is, is not suspicious. That tells you a few things. It's obviously somebody that people trust. Who do people trust in a small town? Well, I, if you're good at mysteries, you probably have a good idea, and I'm not going to say it because, well, that's not very fun when you give away the mystery, is it? No, I'm here to enhance it, not ruin it. So, 
say it out loud to yourself and go, hmm, am I right or am I just reaching? There's nobody down here. Okay, well, we're not done because the, the cutscene has not taken over. Who did I miss? Well, crap. I must have missed somebody around in the shopping district because I asked everybody in Juness and the and the river plains or river whatever the heck. I'm pretty sure I asked you. I know I asked everybody about the murders. I just gotta go around asking everybody about the suspicious person. And I know I well duh, I asked her because the whole oh yeah Saki Kunishi Namatame, whoops. I don't think I have to talk to my friends about it because that would just be silly. Yeah, we have to talk to the people we already talked to about this. That makes complete sense. Did I already ask you that? And yes, he is very creepy. I know somebody's going, why did he not comment on the child molester creepy guy here? Yes. Twilight moms can get away with it. Why? Because they're female. And I don't mean that in a sexist way, but you have to admit, a 40-year-old guy screaming over a 15-year-old girl, somebody would call the police. Again, no disrespect for anybody. I'm just saying what would happen. And no, I'm not a fan of Twilight, but I don't hate the thing either. If you like it, that's great for you. If you don't, you're in good company. Alright, and now we're done. So, cutscenes ahoy. So, did we actually learn anything today? I don't think we did. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I, I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well... One steak bowl, please! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Is this really the time for... Well, I guess eating could make it a little easier to think. Alright. Now that our tummies are full... Let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. You spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today, or lack thereof. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed. Now that over half a year has passed, there wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Uh, just sitting here won't help you think any better. You decide to go outside and get some fresh air. Eh, fresh air can do a mind good sometimes. Not for me, because I have horrific allergies, but for most people, yes. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. 
Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. What's the matter? You should go over everything you know one more time. Culprit has some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Kunishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they did also know what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there are almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Saki Kanishi either, despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation. Someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... This is a very important choice. I think you get three attempts. I wouldn't go any more, any more than two though, so... Obviously, it is none of us. But who would fit all these facts? Well... Who could get right to our house and nobody would find suspicious? Obviously. It's somebody in the police force would be the most likely suspect. No, it's not any kanji on them. Now, granted, it could be Dejima, but I somehow doubt that Dejima, that may be sentimentality coming into it, but I... And I'm pretty sure Taro Namatame didn't do it. Judging by what we've saw so far, if he can be believed, and obviously Nanako didn't do it. So who does that leave? Toru Adachi. Adachi, you can't deny, has acted very weird in the past, spilling things that he should have never said to teenage kids over and over and over again. He would have plenty of opportunity to put those letters in our house. Considering he's come over with Tajima when he was drinking before you. Remember that event? I sure do. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating this case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but... Something's bothering you. You spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. 